This is a very interesting stationary wave experiment. You got sand or powder, I should say. You put powder inside there and it's an open closed tube. Open end of a closed tube, you know. So, open and closed. They already labeled for you. Lah. The open end is here, the closed is at there. So, when a loudspeaker produces a certain frequency F, a stationary is formed inside there. The powder gathers at the nodes. You ever wonder why? Because at the nodes, ah, there is no disturbance in the air. There's zero amplitude. So, the powder will collect there. Lah. Everywhere else, the powder will fly everywhere and get displaced. The speed of sound in air is V. What is the value of X? Wow, this is, how, how do we start this thing? So we do know that these are nodes. So I'm going to draw some dotted lines for you to show what the nodes are. So if you want to draw the stationary wave, how would you draw it if you had all these nodes? You have to think about, okay, if it's a close end, this would be a node. Node to node, node to node. Oh, man. So <laughs> yeah, basically all the nodes are there. La. So you have to draw, if you want to draw those kind of Stationary wave patterns, you have to make sure that you draw a pretty good one, I guess. Kind of like this. I'm getting the hang of it. <sighs> kind of, but not really. Yep, okay. Then open end. Then you do the open end. It's similar to that as well. But the one thing I want you to notice is these are what we call loops. And each loop has a certain distance. Okay, so this is what we call one loop. That is between node and node. Or anti-node and anti-node also can. They are the same thing. So here is between a node and a node. That's one loop. And you're asking for distance x. So distance x here will be three times of this loop, which is half a wavelength. Oh, I should label this half a wavelength. So this is half a wavelength plus half a wavelength plus half a wavelength in terms of length. So can we find what that length is? First thing, we need to find what lambda is. So let's do that. How do we find lambda? We have the speed of sound, we have the frequency. So V equals to F lambda and we know V is 336. Usually it's about 330. Frequency is 1200 hertz. And lambda. So lambda, we will get a value of 0 0.28 meter. And that's not the answer. Huh? Don't straight away very happy. Yeah, 28 cm. No, 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 no. We want distance x. And x is 3 loops. 3 loops is 3 times of lambda over 2. So you have to say, oh, x is, hang on a second, 3 lambda over 2. So we have to do 3 times of the wavelength divided by 2. What do you get there? So 3 times 28 over 2 will be... Wait, did I get it correct? 3 times... Oh, 0 0.28. Sorry. Wrong unit. This is correct. So 0 0.42 meters. In other words, 42 cm. Okay, so just remember the main idea is each loop is what we call something like this. Either between a node and a node or anti-node, anti-node. And this, the, the, the length of this is lambda over 2. That is how you can tell what is the wavelength and things like that. Lah. So pardon my ugly stationary wave. I tried my best. It's a little out of shape, but you get the idea. Okay, so that's all for this question. A very nice experiment but all to do with stationary wave and how you identify the pattern. How was the distance between two adjacent nodes or the distance between two adjacent anti-nodes? Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.